All right, when you first open up Max, it can be kind of overwhelming, but it's not so bad if you break it down. So first off, let's see, when you're looking at the computer screen, mostly what you're seeing are these viewports. It's pretty simple. You've got your top, you've got your front, you've got your left, and you've got your perspective viewports. In this area over here, this is called the control panel, and in it you can do various things. We'll talk about all that later. But for instance, if I went over here and I clicked on the button that says box, and you'll see that it turns blue, I could just come on over here and I could drag out a box and maybe a teapot and maybe a cylinder, who knows, whatever. More on that later. You come on over here and you'll see that you've got the scene explorer. And in the explorer, you see the various things listed. You can do a lot in there. More on that later too. Up here, you see the modeling ribbon. We won't be using the modeling ribbon too much. But above that, you'll see the main toolbar. We will be using that a lot. And in the main toolbar, you can do things like, for instance, move things around or rotate them. So for instance, right here, I can rotate that teapot. Up above that, you've got your drop-down menus. And down here, you have your timeline, where I can do things like animation. So for instance, if I was to turn on my auto key, and I could go on over here, just I'll go all the way to the end, rotate that teapot around like a whole bunch of times, and then I could play it. And there you go, you can see the animation going. It's really that simple. So to break it down, once again, we've got the viewports, the command panel, the scene explorer, the main toolbar, our drop-down menus, and the timeline. Might seem a lot at first, but you're going to get very used to it, and I'll break all these down individually in our next videos.